Have you tried to create change in your life through fitness, but it just never seems to stick or stay with you long term? Welcome to Bad Peach Everest, a fitness program unlike any other that is here to take you on a fitness journey that changes your life. People do not decide to just become extraordinary. People decide to do extraordinary things. This is a famous quote from the first confirmed person to ever summit Mount Everest, Edmund Hillary. He also was known for saying, it's not the mountain that we conquer, but ourselves. I'm Laura, I'm a certified personal trainer, and fitness has dramatically changed my life. In 2020, I saw the power of fitness change me firsthand. I just decided one day, kind of randomly actually, I'm gonna do 100,000 burpees. I don't know really what I was thinking when I decided that, other than I wanna experience change in my life. And that just happened to be the tool that I chose because it was the most difficult exercise I could think of. And I did it. It took me seven months, and when I started started to the day that I end, I was a very different person and I haven't been the same since. I've learned many things over the last few years since fulfilling my 100,000 burpee dream. And the things that I've learned, I'm putting into this program for you. There are no burpees, first of all. <laughs> and for many of you, that will be great news. There's also no jumping in this program. It is 100% low impact strength training workouts. I was inspired to create Bad Beach Everest after hearing a quote from Edmund Hillary that says, you don't have to be a hero to accomplish great things. You can just be an ordinary chap, an ordinary man or woman who's sufficiently motivated to reach challenging goals. If there's one thing I hear from people over and over again, it's that their biggest struggle is that they never stick with something long enough to let the change happen to them. Bad Beach Everest is truly about conquering the mountains that are holding you back in your life. And that's going to be different for every single person going through this program. But I'm sure there's things that come to your mind right now like, yep, that's why I never seem to get to where I'm going is because that always gets in my way and I let that hold me back. That is the mountain that I want you to conquer as you go through this program so that by the end, you can look back and say, I am changing, I am shifting, transformation is happening inside of me. I did that insane fitness challenge years ago, but I will tell you this, years later, I am stronger, I am fitter, I am more confident, and fitness is something that I have fallen in love with that is a massive part of my life that I can't imagine letting go of. And so consistency and motivation, they're just there because I love fitness. And my hope in this program is that I help you fall in love with fitness and get into your life shape. It just takes you till the day that you die. So no matter where you are starting in your fitness journey, this program is designed for you. Bad Peach Everest is not going to be the hardest physical thing you've ever done, but it's going to change you from the inside out. And that is where lasting change happens. Bad Peach Everest is an eight week program. It takes the average person eight weeks to climb Mount Everest. The first two weeks of a person's climb on Mount Everest is making the trek up to the Everest base camp at 17,600 feet above sea level. Once a climber reaches Everest Base Camp, they stay there until their body is acclimated and ready to take that journey towards the Everest Summit. Our first two weeks in Bad Peach Everest will be making that trek towards Base Camp. At the beginning of every single workout, I will be taking time to personally train you as if we were there together, teaching you how to do exercises to get the most out of them, to make sure you're not injuring yourself, to give you the tools to be able to do this on your own after the program is finished. And then we will do a 30 minute strength training workout together in a follow along video format where you have the freedom to do it at home or in the gym or outdoors and pause it as you need and make the workout your own. After our first two weeks where we've reached base camp, we will start our trek to the Bad Peach Everest Summit. It will start to get more challenging. I will start to add things in that push you just a little bit more, but throughout all of it, I'm there to guide you and to train you. There's four workouts per week. Two of them are focused on your upper body and two of them are focused on your lower body. Body. So in addition to those four strength training workouts per week, we will be walking the distance of Mount Everest multiple times over the course of the program. You hear it all the time, get your 10,000 steps in per day. It's approximately 40 miles from base camp to summit and back. We will be doing that over and over if you do your 10,000 steps. I will tell you it's been quite shocking to me after averaging almost 600 burpees a day for seven months, how just strength training and walking those steps every day has helped me get into my peak physical shape and stay there. So four strength training workouts per week, 10,000 steps daily. On a fifth day of the week, I encourage you to 
pick an activity that makes you feel endless amounts of joy and alive inside. Maybe it's playing a round of golf in the sun or hiking an actual mountain or freeze tag or jumping on the trampoline with your kids. Whatever it is, make sure it's something that you love so that you're falling in love with fitness and this becomes something that you just keep going with. On the sixth and seventh days of your week, whichever days those fall on for you are active recovery days. You're still getting your 10,000 steps in, hopefully out in the sunshine somewhere, but you're also giving your body time to rest and recover. So in preparation for the program, grab a pen and paper and I want you to write down three foreseen obstacles, things that you know have held you back in the past or that you anticipate possibly getting in the way this time. We're gonna prepare for those things ahead of time so they don't take us off track. Next, choose your meal plan of choice. Whatever it is that you will stick with that's full of nutrition to give your body what it needs to go through this journey. Plan ahead of time so that you have what you need each day. Next, document your journey through Bad Peach Everest through photos, through videos, through journaling. What are you learning about yourself? How are you changing? Document the change through photos and videos. And lastly, get connected and stay connected with others around the globe who are doing the Bad Peach Everest program together. So after the first two weeks when we reach base camp, if you feel like you're not ready to start that climb to the summit where it gets a little bit more challenging, stay at base camp. Repeat those two weeks over as many times as you need until you're comfortable with the exercises, your body starts to feel conditioned, you're mentally ready for the trek ahead, and then move on with week number three. Because when we move on to make that climb to the summit, I want you to make choices in your life as if your life depends on it. The food you eat, making sure that you're getting the activity in, the amount of sleep that you're getting, your levels of stress, all of these things that actually are like does depend on it long term. On Mount Everest, there is no, I'll start again tomorrow or I'll start again Monday. I don't feel motivated, so I'm just gonna give up. I don't feel like prioritizing my health because I'm way too busy. On Mount Everest, if you do that, you're gonna die. Instead, there is that thrill of the what if. What if I kept going and I reached that summit and got to see what it looked like at the top? What if the journey to the summit catapults me into growth as a person like I've never experienced before? What if I got to experience what it feels like to finally conquer the mountains that have always held me back. Stick with me in this and you will see physical changes take place in yourself. But the coolest thing is when you stand at the summit and you realize that you did it, you followed through and kept the promises to yourself and you look around and you go, oh my gosh, there's a peak over there, a peak over there and I'm gonna go climb them all. And I promise you that is when you become unstoppable. So bad peaches everywhere. Let's climb.